Hi, it's me again with Corel All Tips and Tricks. This video will really only help one person, but I need to help them and I can't explain it and I can't email them the, uh, I can't email a video that big. So this is supposed to be quarter inch wood and I've already shown her some pictures. There's no part in here. This is like a joint. This is 0.16, quarter inch wood, 0.25. She wants to cut out of eighth inch wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this all apart, ungroup all. And first of all, for the one I'm doing it for, I have no clue what those two pieces do. Um, I can't even see them in the picture and I can't show the picture because she bought this file. And I'm not, you won't be able to draw this by me doing this, but, um, but anyway, we need to change that thickness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my nudge factor on like, let's see how big this thing is. Yeah, I see over, I'm going to make it 10 inches. This is the easiest way to do it. And I would take my smart fill tool and fill that in and move it over 10 inches. And then I would left click, right click, and with your ratio locked or unlocked, change this to 0.125. Ah. 0.125. And then delete this. Hit delete. There must be two copies of everything. And then I would nudge that over. And that one's done. But you need to turn this into a hairline. And I'd turn it red. That way you'll know you've done it. And that one's ready to go. You know, and so you're gonna to need to do the same thing as other parts. So what's happening, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you that. And I'm trying to go fast and not waste anybody else, else's time. We need to change both these. So I'm gonna left click, right click, they are a hairline, but I'm going to change them individually. I have to change them individually to 0.125. See, I'm not changing the length. I'm just changing the width for the wood. Now I'm going to nut, well, I can get rid of these. See, there's a double copy of everything. I don't know why. And then just nudge this over. And since there's double copies for the one I'm doing it for anybody, I would fill this in. And then I would left click, right click, and that's done. And that way you only have one copy. And I could, I, that would scare me. Uh, so that's, those two pieces are done. But what I want to kind of emphasize, this is the bottom piece. This is stacked on top of this one. So I'm going to make it black. And I am going to, touch them both and hit CE. So the black one hang, I mean, in the picture, this is what I've learned from the picture I sh she shared with me. This is a double cut. So the, the tower wood is gonna stick through there, but then the other little item that's in the picture will stick through there, but it's only a one layer. Now the only, uh, I still don't, you know, I don't know what that is. I can't figure it out by the, the other pictures are the, lateral lines. Now here's something that doesn't make sense. If it's made for quarter inch wood and it's uh, double stack, this should be a half inch and it's only 0.34. It's some of the drawing just, I, I would still cut this out, put it together. I would get rid of these lines and cut this out. You know, just, I wouldn't cut that out. I wouldn't cut any of those. Whoop. I wouldn't cut any, I would just cut what's here out. And I don't, I guess it's double sided. Uh, I don't know what, I still don't know what the holes are for. But, but in the picture, this has actually been painted. So, you know, don't forget to uh, make everything hairlines and try just that. And I apologize for my normal viewers because that probably didn't help you whatsoever. But thank you for watching.